Hey everyone, Ray Maulila here again. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Stream Deck and make the most of it for office work. This video is especially for those of you who want to enhance your work efficiency using Lean principles. Let's start with the basics. This setup works with Windows 10 and 11. While it technically works with Mac too, unfortunately not all the plugins we'll be using are available for Apple devices. And of course, you'll need the Stream Deck device itself. I've put links to different models in the video description. The installation is super straightforward. Just connect the included USB cable to the device and your computer Download the Stream Deck software from Elgato's website and install it. That's it. When you open the program, you'll notice that the display exactly matches your Stream Deck device. On the right side, you'll find all the functions and plugins. And at the bottom, you can browse through different pages. On the device itself, you switch these pages using the arrow buttons. A really handy feature is that you can create different profiles for different situations. I've actually made a specific profile just for creating this video. You might want to create separate profiles for office and remote work, or even for different projects. Let's quickly go through the main settings in the application. At the top of the window, you'll find notifications a quick link to Elgato's App Store and then the actual settings and user account management. In settings you can check for available updates and adjust device specific things like orientation and screen brightness. In account settings you can connect your device to your social media accounts if you need that functionality. On the profiles tab you select your default profile. This is useful if you're using multiple profiles. The plugins tab lets you add and remove plugins and the style tab is where you adjust the appearance of your buttons. There you'll find settings for text size, style and layout. One really neat feature is the ability to use folders. You can put an entire set of related actions behind a single button, keeping your main view clean and organized. Now let's talk about the plugins that I absolutely recommend you install. Let's start by installing them. Click the settings icon in the top bar and select plugins. At the bottom of the, this window you'll find a plus button, click that. This takes us to Elgato's Marketplace, specifically to the Plugins section. Let's start with Bar Riders plugins. First up is Super Macro. Let's search for that. Type Super Macro in the search field. Click on it when it appears and hit Download and Install. You'll see Super Macro appear in your plugins list. Download and install Window Mover and Resizer the same way. If you use Teams frequently, I recommend installing the Teams plugin as well. I've also installed something called Color Picker, since I often need to grab color codes from random images. To keep things visually organized, we should also install a color package called CSS Color Icons. Let's go back to the browser and Elgato's Marketplace. Click Home and then Icons and search for CSS. You'll find an icon pack called CSS Color Icons. Open and install that. Now that you have all the necessary plugins, you can organize them optimally. At the very top, I have Multi-Action, Super Macro, System and Windows Mover. I've actually hidden some commands that I don't use at all to keep things tidy. Let's do a practical example together. I'll first show you what we want to automate and then we'll build it 
uh, step by step in Stream Deck. Our goal is to automate the process of going to Elgato's store to search for animated GIFs. First, let's open the browser and go to Elgato's marketplace. I'm doing this manually so we can see exactly what steps are needed. Okay, we're on the home page. Next, we need to get to the search field. I'm pressing tab. Cursor moves to the first link. Second tab. Now we are in the search field. So we need exactly two tab presses. Let's type animated GIF and press enter. Voila! This is exactly how we want our automated process to work. Alright, now that we know exactly what needs to be done, we can build the same process in Stream Deck. Let's take an empty button and drag multi-action onto it. See how it immediately appears on your device too. Pretty cool, right? First step is adding the website command. Let's copy Elgato's marketplace address directly from the browser and paste it into the URL field. Let's name this step Open Marketplace. Now here's an important part. We need to give the browser and page time to load. So let's set a 6 second delay. That's 6000 milliseconds. At this stage it's always better to keep delays a bit too long rather than too short. They're easy to trim down later once we see everything else working properly. Next we'll add super macro. Go under the short press macro field and click capture. Now press tab. This records our first tab press. Then capture again and second tab. Great! At this point we'd be in the search field. Let's make a new line for clarity and type animated gif. Then capture and enter. Now we have the whole process recorded. Two tabs, search term and enter press. Let's give this super macro step a name, something like go to search field and search for gifs. Back to the main view, let's name the whole command search gifs. For the final touch, click the plus sign and select a nice bright color from our newly installed CSS color icons package. This helps keep our color scheme consistent. Let's test that everything works. Let's close the browser so we can see the whole process from the start. And there it is! Works like a charm. If you feel 6 second delay is too long, you can shorten it. I might actually increase Super Macro's delays a bit, say to 40 milliseconds, so we can better see what's happening. In the next episode we'll go deeper. I'll show you how to automate report downloads directly from your browser, and how to efficiently process them in Excel. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can find the Stream Deck model links in the description. See you next time. Bye bye.